My name is Beth Tarquinio. I'm the Executive Director at Methodist Children's Home. My name is Julie Elkins. I'm the Manager of Foster Care and Placement Services. My name is Rebecca Limba. I am the Residential Therapist at Methodist Children's Home Society. Uh, Jason Marotis. I'm a Foster Care Case Manager. My name is uh, James Meadows, uh, and I'm a Youth Specialist uh, over at Ott Cottage. My name is Richard Friedman. I am the Manager of Residential Services. Cynthia Bell. Program Director. Uh, my name is Betty Mattis. I'm the Manager of the Clinical Services. My name is Suzanne Terry and I am the Manager of Therapeutic Support Services. Most of the kids that come to us do not even understand what family life is, life is like. So the setup of, of our cottages give them that. You know, there is 10 rooms, there's a big cottage, it's a family-like environment. Um, each kid have their own individual room. We have a large dining room where they all eat together. We have a TV room where we all sit together and, and watch a movie. It's a family type environment and we're teaching them how to be a family. A lot of young men, uh, when they come into the cottages after school, uh, you know, uh, they're not used to structure and routine. In our residential program, it is our goal and our vision to become a premier treatment facility, to open up an on-ground school for our residential program, and we're really excited about that. Train our staff so that they can help the boys. The boys are involved in lots of different forms of therapy, individual, group, family. Um, we provide them with opportunities to learn skills through recreation, um, social types of things, job skills, independent living skills, um, with the whole goal being helping them to leave our program and return to the community and be successful. We use several different techniques in recreational therapy. Um, yoga and Tai Chi are two of them. Um, the, both of those are used to help the kids with their self-confidence and to understand um, how to reduce stress. It, it also helps them with teamwork and working together with each other. Foster care program is important because when children are removed from their families, um, they need a community setting, a family environment, someone to take care of them and to try to maintain their life uh, as natural as possible. You know, we make sure that they're safe and secure in their foster homes. So we do a lot of work with the families and the children uh, together. You know, we make sure the kids get all the services that they need in their placement, whether it be school, um, mental health uh, needs, um, physical health, so we make sure all that stuff is taken care of for uh, the children. Hi, my name is Brenda Miller. Cario Miller. We are adoptive and foster parents. She couldn't have children, so we decided to become adoptive parents. Um, I did my homework, and when I came here, it felt like home. They really educated us on the process. About a month after we got our certification that um, they gave us a call and let us know that they had an infant. It was a little girl and so we were ready. It wasn't but a, <laughs> a short while later we get ring ring another phone call like another child what? <laughs> and then <laughs> after Tanisha we received a call uh, for a special, a special um, addition. They told me it was a little boy. I knew we already had to and I was like okay I'll, I'll call you back and I cried because we have wanted a boy and so I called my husband and he said okay and I was like okay <laughs> the crew here. We have Cario, we have Tanisha, the middle child, and then we have Karina. Can you Hi. Okay. I think it's important for our donors to realize that any, any offer of assistance they give us makes a difference and that when you help a child you do change a life.